My friend Richard from RC Motorhomes called me up. He said he's got the AC United Husqvarna Motocross team truck in for servicing, which is a truck that he built. It's a custom built RC12M specifically for the motocross team. And we'd like to have a look at it. And I said, absolutely. So uh, I'll come to meet Richard. This is Richard. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. How are you? Very well indeed. Very good, well good, indeed. good to see you. And you? So this is it then? Yeah, this is uh, uh, one of our biggest trucks. This is the RC12M and uh, it was commissioned by the AC United Husqvarna motocross team uh, as their official team truck. So the uh, riders can operate out of it and the mechanics, it goes to all the events in the UK and Europe. Um, and I'd just like to show you around. Perfect, yeah, love to see it, thanks very much. So from the outside of the truck, on this side, all around the perimeter, it has a big 10 meter long with a six meter projection awning with all the flooring and during the race meetings you'll see the mechanics and the riders all operating out of the awning uh, with a full enclosure so it gives them full cover and good hospitality cover. Uh, and then most of the truck is built around the sort of storage for all the equipment so if you look into some of the service lockers you'll see lots of full width underfloor storage which the team need for all the things like the uh, framework for the awning systems so you can see again in here full underfloor storage awesome yeah and then even up on the top of the truck you've got compressed air points so compressed air comes all out through the awning so the mechanics can use uh, compressors blowers all that sort of stuff wow and then as we come around the front it's a mercedes antos 18 ton right it's got plenty of horsepower plenty of space very comfortable to drive here you can see the slide out section. Okay, yep. Which creates a much bigger diner area in the main saloon. Mm -hmm. You've got things like hydraulic leveling, which are the legs that come down. Ah, this is further under here. That's it. Okay. And then again, more storage lockers for equipment. Yep. And then in here, you can see another key feature of a truck of this size is a 7 kVA coming zone and generator. Oh wow. So that will power everything that the truck needs. Right. From all the stuff under the awning to all the stuff inside the vehicle. Okay, so that's 240 volt basically. Yeah, 240 yeah. volt diesel. Uh-huh. You can see on the side there all the fillers for the water tanks. So they've got huge capacity of domestic water plus jet wash water. Several tanks throughout the vehicle. Okay. And then all underneath you can see little outlets where they can connect jet wash systems to. Okay, oh yeah, that's this one here. And as we come around the vehicle, we really begin to see a, the sort of size that they need. Yeah, that is a big truck, isn't it? Fantastic. doors in the back there that takes you into the garage area which I'll show you in a second. Okay awesome should we look inside? Yeah perfect I'll show you around. So as you can see here this is the main saloon area and also the slide out section here which is the dinette which is in the out position. So it creates a really nice big social space. So if the team are relaxing in here, they can watch the telly, have something to eat, and just generally chill out whilst in between the racing. That's fantastic. Got a big TV so they can watch live timing of the races mm -hmm. or just chill out watching a movie in the evening. Brilliant. And then the galley area here mm -hmm. has got all the big domestic cookware. So it's a real home from home. And one of the key features of that big generator is it's able to run all of this equipment for them. Uh, okay. And that's storage up above, obviously. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. And then as you move further back down the truck, mm -hmm. because of the team setup, the mechanics wanted their own beds. So we've got a twin bunk setup, uh, which okay. gives them a bit of privacy. Uh, yep. They've got their own TV in there and charging points for their phone, skylight, etc. Fantastic. And then a matching one next to it. That's it. And they've got their own wardrobe each. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And that's mirrored obviously on the other side. 
superb. And you've got the big American style fridge freezer and mm. a microwave behind that cupboard. Okay. And then air conditioning on the roof to keep them cool. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a look in there, you've got the heads area and shower. That's a really good size and a separate shower stall as well. Nice. So you really can spend some time in this truck, can't you? Yeah, and they often do weekend from weekend. It's in service every weekend during the season. Wow. So it's a real home from home. And then as you look up here, this is the main control center. Okay. So where they can bring on the generator, heating and hot water system, hydraulic leveling, master volt control system, which does all your tank levels and your inverter and your battery levels. Awesome. And then towards the front of the truck, there's another berth in there, which is slightly bigger. Uh -huh. And that's again, it's got its own privacy, television, charging points and heated. Very nice. And there's a windows presumably behind these blinds yeah, that's here. That's right. That's fantastic. And then obviously through there, you've got the cab and the driving area. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay, now let me show you the most important feature, the garage area. Brilliant. So in here, you can see, uh, this is the main storage area for the motorcycles. Okay. And often you'll see the riders in here, perhaps in between races, just getting themselves prepared to go out. Up here, you can store three bikes. So when they're traveling and they've got all the bikes set up, ready to go, you've got the wheel holders on here, each side, various locker spaces. And then down on this area, you can put another three bikes if they need. And then the workstation at the back end of the truck, which is where they'll store things like oils, tools, spare parts. Uh, they've got a drinks fridge. Uh, they can control the generator from in here if they need to put the compressor on. They've got compressed air point here. So if they're working on an engine or anything like that, they've got power close by, 240 volt sockets and USB points. Fantastic. So you can get six bikes in here. Yeah. That's amazing. And then another key area, mm -hmm. which is the upstairs area. Okay. Which you'll find the, they use that for the compressor and spare wheels and tires and some general just bike kit. Wow, that's another big area actually, isn't it? Yeah. And then also access onto the roof where they store all the awning system. Okay, let's go and have a look. Wow. You get a real sense of how big this truck is when you come up here. Massive. Well, that is incredible. I'm really impressed with that. Thank you very much for inviting me to see that one. No problem. Pleasure, Nick. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too.